Hey y'all, it's now I'm Nappy, and y'all, we are starting week one of our Protective Style Challenge. Now y'all know I'm one week ahead of you guys, so let's get into this video. We're gonna focus on scalp care, and y'all, this video, I'm gonna discuss with you some of the latest news they have on the chemicals found in hair straighteners, such as relaxers, actually increase your risk for uterine cancer. So let's get into it, okay? So if y'all have missed our Sunday Lives, y'all, we actually talk about some of the issues facing black women, such as fibroids and cancer, and it's a potential link to using chemicals found in hair relaxers and some hair products. So this new report to me was sad, but not shocking. So y'all, let's focus on getting natural ingredients on our scalp while we detox our scalp for week one of our protective style challenge. We'll be doing this clay mask here, and then we'll follow up with a scalp care tea. So let's wash our hair, get started, and chat about this new news. Okay, we're gonna keep this recipe nice and simple. We're gonna use our Echinacea Plus Tea Blend, and we're gonna add two bags of this and about two cups of boiling distilled water to the mixture, and let those tea bags steep. After about 20 minutes, I'm gonna go in with the neem powder and I'm going to add a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of neem powder to the mixture. Go ahead and stir and let the mixture completely dissolve and then set it to the side for at least 30 minutes. Next, we're going to make our clay mask mixture, y'all. And I'm going to go in with my bentonite clay. I'm going to add two-thirds of a cup of bentonite clay. And y'all, I don't know what I did with my rasul clay, but we're going to go in with our kaolin clay and add two-third cups of kaolin clay. Now, we're going to use our tea or scalp care mixture as the base for this recipe, you want to add at least one cup of the scalp care tea to this mixture. Go ahead and stir. It's going to be a bit clumpy in the beginning, but just continue stirring. And then I added about another quarter to half cup of distilled water to the mixture to make sure it was nice and smooth and most of the clumps had completely dissolved. Continue stirring until you get a nice smooth consistency. It may not be perfect, but y'all don't worry about it. Um, next, I'm gonna go in with some apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon. This will help to balance out the high pH from the bentonite clay. Y'all notice the mixture will start to bubble just a little, and that is a reaction happening. And finally, once that has dissolved, I'm gonna go in with about 10 to 15 drops of peppermint essential oil. All right, now that we have our clay mixture and our tea mixture ready for the week, let's go ahead and get our hair soaking wet so we can apply the mixture to our hair. Y'all, I just have my hair into two ponytails pinned to each side. So I'm gonna take that down and get it started for you guys for wash day. Now I ran my hair under warm water for about a minute to two minutes to help open up the strands and receive this bentonite clay mixture, y'all. And I'm going to focus this mixture all the way from the scalp down the length of my hair. Remember, this has the scalp care tea as well as peppermint oil, which is really great for stimulating hair growth and also dealing with scalp issues to help minimize inflammation on the scalp, as well as dandruff, dermatitis, and other forms of dermatitis due to the antibacterial, antiviral, antimicrobial properties found in the neem and in this tea mixture. Now the bentonite clay will serve as my detox and the little granules found in the clay actually help to remove dead skin cells as well as any dirt oils and toxins from the hair. Now that we have that down pat, I really want to discuss the new report showing that hair straightening chemicals are associated with a higher risk of uterine cancer. So the study was done on, on about 33,500 U.S. women ages of 35 to 74, and they were followed for almost 11 years. And during that time, 378 uterine cancer cases were diagnosed. And from the research, it showed that women who used hair straightening products defined as more than four times in a previous year were more than twice as likely to go on and develop uterine cancer compared to those who did not use the products. So they estimated about 1.64% of women who never use hair straighteners would develop uterine cancer by the age of 30. But frequent users, again, frequent was defined as four times per year. That risk more than doubled at 4.05%. 
Now, while uterine cancer is not the most common cancer of the female reproductive system, it does equate to 65,950 estimated new cases in 2022 and with the highest risk, particularly among black women, because black women use hair straightening or relaxer products more frequently and tend to initiate it at earlier use than any other race or ethnicity. So you guys, this study is confirming what many of us black women are concerned about, especially since most of us have used relaxers in some form as early as four to five. I know that was the case for me and for many women. So you guys know my page is about education and that's why we're here today, really, really focusing and taking consideration what we are using on our scalp. And while this is one study, y'all, there are actually many more recent studies that show that certain products used especially by black women may increase our risk of not only uterine cancer but breast cancer and other cancers as well especially because of some of the chemicals found in hair straighteners such as the parabens the metals and formaldehyde now y'all i hope in 2022 we can all move away from such toxic chemicals and use more natural products such as the products that we're using in today's video such as this clay mixture to help detox our hair from heavy metals and toxins from the environment and use the scalp care tea as we will use to help heal and nourish our scalp from some of these ailments now y'all i'll leave this clay mixture on for 20 minutes i will cover my hair with heat during this time and then rinse it out and show you the results Okay, you guys, y'all can see my curls are defined. My hair is weighed down. It is very, very moisturized. So now I'm going to go in with my deep conditioner. I'm using my Oanalo deep conditioner. This is also a very natural ingredient. There are no toxic chemicals found in here and all natural preservatives, you guys. I'll deep condition my hair for 30 minutes with steam and then rinse it out. And y'all, these are my bomb, bomb results. Okay, so I just finished rinsing out the deep conditioner, y'all. My hair is feeling so good and moisturized. Can y'all see the growth of my hair from the last couple of challenges, y'all? Hair is doing amazing things. Um, I'm going to moisturize my hair and also do a line check for you guys. So let's get into that. Uh, but first, I am going to take this tea and pour it into this bottle, y'all, just for ease of application on my scalp. Go ahead and do that. And that way, you just put it into this. Squeeze it directly on thy scalp. Okay. I don't want a ton coming out, but I want enough. There you go. I'm going to use the, the scalp care tea as the base again using that first following up with my leave and conditioner Next will be the hibiscus and shea base dowler, and I'll be putting my hair into large twists. The reason I'm doing this is because y'all, I'm actually going to be trimming my hair, and I definitely trimmed my hair before I did my length check. You'll see the video is a bit out of order, but I definitely trimmed before I did my length check. I am going to focus this week again on scalp care, using the scalp relief oil directly on my scalp and giving myself a nice massage. Now that my hair is detangled, trimmed, and moisturized, I'm going to go in with the style for the week. I'm going to do a very simple style as I put my hair into two pigtails on the side. Split those pigtails up into two twists. And then pin those twists on opposite sides of the head for this cute, cute style. 
Now, I opted to have bangs, but by any means, if you're not a fan of bangs, you can go ahead and skip the step and just brush all of your hair back. As for me, y'all know I love me some good twist bangs. All right, you guys, now it's the morning. Boom, this is the style. My hair is nice, slick, moisturized, and hydrated for the week. So if you found this week interesting, stay tuned for next week as we delve further into chemicals and products you want to avoid that potentially spread cancer. But that's it for this week. Stay tuned for next week as we do week two of our Protective Style Challenge. But I'll see y'all next time. Bye.